I love video games, but more and more people are moving away from the television. There's a lot of focus today on the mobile and web platform. It's easier to develop games for those platforms. The television costs a lot of money. You have to work with established players in the space, and I've been trying to figure out how do we get them back to it. Ouya is a new game console for the television that's built on Android, open source technology. It's an inexpensive game console for gamers. All the games are free to try. Anybody that wants to develop a game for a television, we allow them the ability to do this. I've been a part of the game industry for a really long time. In the early days of gaming, you could take your Apple IIe, write your own programming, and, and take your game to market. The console business as it is today is completely closed to the independent developer. The process overhead for console development is really just too much for us. There's a lot of hurdles for developers to get games onto the television. Developing is extremely expensive. I love the television and I want those games on the television. We wanted to make a great product. I went out to find the best people that can do it and that's Eve Behar and the Fuse Project. Over the years we've worked on a lot of projects that take a certain technology and make it available to, to many. I mean the $100 laptop is one and the Jambox for example. We like to use all the different parts of design, you know, fuse them together whether it's industrial design or user experience. The most important part of this to us is the controller. We really focus a lot on what gamers are looking for. Precise controls, tactility, right sizing. What makes Ouya different and gives it the potential of changing the gaming environment is you're able to build things right from the start. You don't have to pay outrageous amounts of money for a dev kit. You don't have to have a lot of credentials. Just good ideas. The more we have something like this open console that can, can break that, it's going to open it up for a new business segment for the independent developers. Since it's Android based, we have a, a great 3D port of Cannonball that's on Android already. That would be really fun to see up on the TV. We have a prototype and it works. We'll have all the game genres you love. Shooters, platformers, sports, and RPGs. We'll have games for major game publishers and indies too. We'll have a full store of games, all free to play. Minecraft is going to be on it and Twitch TV, so you can watch StarCraft and League of Legends. This is the perfect hybrid to have something that's inexpensive, it's open, and it comes with a fantastic controller. It's open for hackers that want to tweak the box and make it their own. This is a big undertaking. Effectively, we're trying to disrupt an established industry. It takes a lot of guts and courage. Well, I wasn't a female, I'd say big balls. We've raised money from friends and family, but it takes more. Kickstarter is a phenomenal place where early ideas can get supported by those people that are going to want to use it. And this product will not happen without their support. And when we raise this money, it means that we have arrived, that there is a need for an open game console, and that there is support from gamers and developers alike. You're the signal to the world that this is wanted. Ooh, yeah.